Uh, what's up everyone? So today we're going to be talking about uh, why you need to use a solar charge controller. Uh, we use uh, solar uh, like uh, renewable energy and sometimes we make mistakes. Uh, of course, uh, a renewable energy is good for the planet, uh, considering the different power sources like uh, coal or other kind of fuels, other than like hydropower, they're damaging the planet and we need to go towards the renewable energy sources, be it solar energy or uh, wind energy and hydropower as a renewable energy source as well. Uh, we'll talk about the solar charge controllers over here. Why is it necessary? Well, uh, solar charge controllers, like uh, it's basically uh, a block that gives you a lot of safety. You need a solar charge controller installed in your system and that is very necessary. If not, then it'll damage uh, a lot, like your panel, your battery, and maybe your load. So let me tell you a couple of advantages of a solar charge controller. So solar charge controller basically uh, offers you over voltage protection, over charge, over current protection, under voltage protection, short uh, circuit protection, and overload protection. Uh, so what are these terms? Over voltage protection means take example of a 12 volt battery when you're charging your ba 12 volt battery like uh, 12 volt is the nominal voltage of that the operating voltage of a 12 volt battery is somewhere between uh, 11 or 10.5 or 11 volts to like 13.5 or maybe 14 volts. So uh, 12 volts is somewhere in between there and uh, you need to make sure your battery is not over voltage like for example, it goes above the uh, threshold, like the upper threshold. If it goes above that, it will uh, like heat up the battery and, heat it up, and heating up means like it will damage the battery and uh, you'll have to replace your battery very soon. And of course, uh, it might cause uh, some severe kind of damage. So uh, this is the over voltage protection and over current protection is uh, you basically set a threshold that you want to use 10 amps, 20 amps or 30 amps uh, and depending upon your controller of course and if the current goes above that then uh, the then these uh, solar charge controller shuts down the uh, load. And what is under voltage protection? Uh, same as uh, over voltage protection, under voltage protection means like if your battery goes below like 10.5 volts or 11 volts, it automatically shuts down the uh, battery output in order to protect the battery. If the battery uh, is uh, uh, under voltage, then it is uh, like, there are higher chances that your battery may not survive and you will have to replace your battery. Under voltage is not good in these systems. Short circuit protection means like, uh, for example, if something is shorted in your load and maybe in your, uh, like, if the battery is shorted uh, for some reason, then the charge controller shuts it down so you're safe. And of course you don't want to do that. The uh, short means like you short uh, positive and negative, like there's no load between them. And it is not good in general. Of course it's not good at all. For example, shorting anything is not good like in uh, electrical systems or electronic systems or whatever the case may be never short anything it is never good and it always causes disaster okay so overload protection overload protections as the name suggests that like for example your uh, system is rated for 300 watts and you have like uh, 250 watts and for some reason you bring in something that's uh, that exceeds the power limit of your system for example it goes to like uh, above 300 watts like uh, I would say 350 or uh, something like that when it exceeds that uh, the rating of your controller uh, of your system and it automatically shuts down because it causes damage to the system so where do you connect your solar charge controller uh, in your system well your PV is a photovoltaic system your solar panel you connect it to the controller the output wires of your uh, PV into the uh, solar charge controller, be it PWM or MPPT. I'll explain that in the next video, which one should you choose and why. Uh, but uh, for now, you just focus on here, where do you connect your controller? You, it, it is in this block. This is basically blocks in wherever in, your, in an electrical system, you uh, put blocks like this. 
so you understand it better. So after the uh, controller stay, you connect it to your load and that's the ground. Of course, there's a ground wire to every one of them, like two wires. The negative wire in the DC system is uh, also a ground. So uh, if you connected it to an AC system, of course, you're gonna use an inverter and um, the other wiring as well. But just for simplicity, uh, I just, I wanted to make a point like you connect your controller right after the uh, PV stage. So uh, that is how you, you're secure, like your load wires should be connected to the controller, not directly from the PV. So the controller is connected to the battery, your load and your PV, and it takes care of everything. And this is of course the load. Um, um, I assuming that it is a resistive load and not a motor or a capacitive load of some sort. So yeah, and that's it for today. And I hope you learned something and help you understand why a controller is very necessary. Like uh, it is very important in the system. And with that being said, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and click on the notification bell. And I'll guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.